Imagine pushing the throttle, getting pinned back in the helm seat, and hearing nothing but feeling everything. No roar, no smoke, just smooth acceleration and instant torque. That's not science fiction, it's the rise of hybrid outboards. They're quieter than a whisper, cleaner than a Tesla, and so powerful they make old school engines sweat. But here's the twist. This innovation might not just change boating, it could upend the entire marine world. So let's find out. Can this new engine really destroy the outboard industry as we know it? The concept of a hybrid isn't new, it's just finally catching up with boating. Cars like the Toyota Prius made hybrid technology mainstream over 20 years ago, but boats? They've always been a bit behind. Water, salt, vibration, and space constraints make integrating complex systems a nightmare. That hasn't stopped people from trying. In the early 2000s, companies like Hybrid Marine in the UK started experimenting with combining small diesel engines and electric motors for yachts. These weren't outboards yet, but they proved the concept worked. By 2008, Scout Boats unveiled the 145 Hybrid, pairing a Yamaha gas outboard with twin electric motors. It was clever, but also heavy, slow, and far too expensive for what it offered. The technology simply wasn't ready. Over the next decade, electric trolling motors became more popular, but they didn't count as true hybrids. They were accessories, not propulsion systems. It wasn't until recently, thanks to massive improvements in battery energy density, motor efficiency, and power electronics, that hybrid outboards became a serious possibility. Now in 2025, we're finally seeing functional, production-ready hybrid outboards that combine electric silence with combustion reliability. A hybrid outboard engine blends two power sources, usually a combustion engine and an electric motor into one propulsion system, but not all hybrids are built the same. Parallel hybrids let both power sources drive the propeller. You can run electric only, gas only, or both together when you need extra power. Series hybrids use the combustion engine as a generator. It doesn't directly turn the propeller. Instead, it charges the batteries that power the electric motor. And then there are regenerative hybrids, which can capture energy when the boat's slowing down or coasting, essentially using the propeller as a water-driven generator. Each system has its strengths. Parallel hybrids offer flexibility and performance. Series hybrids deliver smooth, efficient cruising. Regenerative hybrids help keep the batteries topped off without plugging in. Inside the cowling, a hybrid outboard hides a lot more than a normal engine. A gas or diesel powerhead, a compact electric motor, a lithium-ion battery pack, power converters, and control software. That's a lot of technology to fit into something hanging off your transom but companies are finally doing it. So now you know what a hybrid outboard is, but who's crazy enough to build one? Smash subscribe and let's meet the companies trying to rewrite the rulebook of the entire outboard industry. At the moment, only a handful of manufacturers are producing true hybrid outboards, but they're pushing the limits of what's possible. OXC Marine, based in Sweden, is leading the pack. Their OXC Hybrid 450 combines a diesel engine with an integrated electric motor, allowing it to run in electric-only, diesel-only, or boost mode. The electric motor also acts as a generator, recharging the battery during diesel operation. It's rugged, efficient, and aimed squarely at commercial users who demand reliability and range. Volvo Penta is another big player. They're not making outboards, but their hybrid helm to propeller system for inboards shows how far the technology has matured. Volvo's goal is seamless operation. No clunky transitions between modes, no lag, just smooth automated power blending. Meanwhile, Aaron's Motors from Europe has developed a remarkably compact 16 kilowatt hybrid drive that can operate as a pure electric, pure combustion, generator, or hybrid booster system, all within a casing barely larger than a conventional outboard. Other companies like Hybrid Marine, Combi Outboards, and Beta Marine are developing integrated electric diesel solutions for small craft and sailboats. Proving that hybrid propulsion isn't just a luxury yacht gimmick, it's coming for everyday boaters. So the movement is small, but it's real, and it's gaining speed fast.
If you spent any time around boats, you already know the usual suspects. Too loud, too thirsty, too smelly, and too moody to start on the first try. The hybrid outboard promises to fix all of that in one slick package, like giving your old sea dog a Tesla heart. Let's start with noise. Electric mode is so quiet, you'll wonder if the engine even turned on. You can sneak into marinas or drift into fishing spots without waking the gulls, or that one guy who always insists on blasting Jimmy Buffett at dawn. It's boating, not a rock concert. Next up, fuel efficiency. Traditional outboards are like teenagers with your credit card. They burn through fuel just sitting still, but hybrids? They know when to switch to electric at low speeds, saving you gallons and guilt. It's like trolling on battery-powered zen. Then there's the green factor. Around the world, harbors and lakes are introducing no-combustion zones. That means your loud, smoky outboard might soon be as welcome as a jet ski at a swan sanctuary. Hybrids let you glide through under silent, emission-free power without getting side-eye from the eco-patrol. And finally, the feel. Instant electric torque means buttery smooth acceleration, zero lag, and effortless docking. No more rattling coffee cups or your passengers pretending they're fine while clutching the rail. In short, hybrids give you the best of both worlds. Power when you want it, peace when you need it, and bragging rights all the time. Because nothing says I'm ahead of the curve, quite like passing a fuel dock in total silence, sipping your coffee that finally stays in the cup. Let's break down the real-world benefits of hybrid outboards and why boaters are suddenly paying attention. First, efficiency. A hybrid doesn't just sip fuel, it strategizes it. You burn gas when you're chasing range or speed, then silently switch to electric while trolling or docking. It's like having a boat that actually thinks before it drinks. Second, reduced emissions. For tour operators, marinas, and eco-resorts, this is gold. Cleaner power means fewer fumes, happier guests, and fewer angry swans giving you that you're ruining my habitat stare. Third, stealth mode. Electric operation is silent, which means you can glide into fishing spots or romantic coves without sounding like a leaf blower on steroids. It's boating's version of sneaking snacks at midnight, completely undetectable. Fourth, redundancy. If the electric system quits, the combustion engine takes over. If that fails, you can still crawl home under electric power. It's the marine equivalent of having both belt and suspenders. Fifth, comfort. With less vibration and more refinement, the ride feels premium, like swapping your old pickup for a luxury sedan. Even your coffee cup will thank you. Sixth, regenerative charging. Some systems can recharge while running on fuel or even while coasting. It's basically free power, because why waste momentum when you can recycle it? And finally, fun. In hybrid boost mode, acceleration is instant. No lag, no roar. Just pure talk that throws you back in your seat. It's like replacing your outboard's morning coffee with a double espresso. Hybrids deliver what boaters have always wanted. Range, silence, and bragging rights, all in one beautifully complicated package. Now let's talk about the ugly side, because no revolution comes without a few leaky fuel lines. First, weight. Batteries aren't exactly feathers. Add in electric motors, controllers, and wiring, and suddenly your transom's doing heavy lifting. That extra mass messes with balance, planing, and handling, basically turning your nimble runabout into a slightly overweight athlete. Second, cost. Hybrids don't come cheap. Expect to pay nearly double the price of a comparable gas outboard. Sure, you'll save on fuel, but it might take a few years and a few fishing seasons before your wallet forgives you. Third complexity. Two powertrains means twice the fun and twice the potential for headaches. Diagnosing hybrid issues requires computers, software, and a mechanic who understands both combustion and electrons, a rare combo at most marinas. 
Fourth, battery limits. Even the best lithium packs can't match a tank of fuel. Run too long on electric, and you'll find yourself switching back to combustion faster than you can say range anxiety. Fifth, charging. Good luck finding a high-speed marine charger. Most hybrids still depend on their engines for recharging, so while you're saving fuel, you're not escaping it completely. And finally, resistance to change. Boaters are traditionalists. They like things simple. Fuel, spark, and a prayer. Throw in computers, sensors, and software updates, and you'll see panic spread faster than an oil slick. Let's be honest, some folks just don't trust new tech floating in salt water. They'll fix a carburetor blindfolded, but ask them to reset an inverter and they'll mutter something about the good old days. If you've made it this far, you already know hybrids aren't just another gimmick, they're a quiet revolution. But the real question is, can they actually dethrone gas and diesel for good? Hit subscribe, and let's see if this new engine can truly destroy the outboard industry. So how do hybrid outboards stack up against the competition? Let's just say it's not a fair fight, but it's an interesting one. Gasoline outboards are still the undisputed kings of convenience. They're light, powerful, and everywhere. You can find parts in any marina, and nearly every mechanic knows how to fix one with little more than a socket set and a strong cup of coffee. But gas engines are loud, thirsty, and about as subtle as a chainsaw in a library. They idle inefficiently, pollute more, and in some lakes and coastal zones, they're slowly being shown the exit door by tightening emission rules. Diesel outboards are the workhorses of the sea. They've got torque that could pull a dock apart. They're safer in terms of fuel volatility, and they sip instead of chug. Commercial operators love them for their reliability and endurance, but they're heavy, pricey, and not exactly weekend-friendly. You won't see many mounted on small recreational boats, unless you enjoy explaining to everyone at the dock why your outboard sounds like a freight train. Pure electric outboards are the complete opposite. Whisper quiet, zero local emissions, no oil changes, and instant talk the moment you touch the throttle. They're the future, or at least a very eco-friendly version of it. But they come with their own baggage. Limited range, high upfront cost, and battery packs that eat up both space and wallet. It's perfect for short, peaceful rides, but not if you're crossing open water anytime soon. And that brings us to the hybrid outboard, the middle child that might just outgrow its siblings. It delivers the range and reliability of combustion, the silence and cleanliness of electric, and the flexibility to choose between them. Run quiet near the shore, roar offshore, and recharge as you go. In short, Electric is for short, silent trips. Gas is for simple, affordable fun. Diesel rules commercial seas. But hybrid, it's trying to combine them all, and it might just pull it off. Can hybrid outboards really destroy the traditional outboard market? Uh, that depends on how you define destroy. They're unlikely to wipe out gas engines entirely anytime soon, but they could absolutely disrupt the market by forcing manufacturers to evolve. Here's why. Most big marine brands, Yamaha, Mercury, Suzuki, have already experimented with hybrid or electric concepts. They're watching closely, because if hybrid tech catches on, whoever perfects it first could dominate the next generation of boating. But the outboard market is a fortress. Gas engines have decades of refinement, global parts networks, and millions of loyal users. To challenge that, hybrids need to match their reliability, cost, and ease of use, not just promise cleaner power. The real game changer might not be the engine itself, but the infrastructure. Once marinas start installing marine grade chargers, and once hybrid parts become easier to service, adoption will snowball. Remember when early car hybrids seemed complicated and niche? Now every major automaker sells one. The same thing could happen on the water. It'll just take a little longer. And a lot of salt-resistant engineering. So, what's next for hybrid outboards? 
We're entering a decade where hybrid boating is going to evolve at full throttle. Battery energy density is improving by roughly 5% every year, and while that might not sound like much, in the boating world it's massive. More range, less weight, smaller battery packs, and a lot fewer excuses to keep burning gas. The real game-changer will be solid-state batteries, which could reach marine use by 2027. They promise double the range, better safety, faster charging, and lifespans long enough to outlast your boat trailer. Manufacturers are already testing modular hybrid systems, where you can slide out battery packs like cartridges. Imagine upgrading your boat's range as easily as swapping GoPro batteries. That's the goal. Meanwhile, control systems are getting smarter. AI-based software can now decide when to run electric, diesel, or both, optimizing based on GPS route, weather, and how heavy your cooler is that day. Designers are also starting to think from hull to helm. Instead of cramming hybrid tech into old hulls, future boats will be built around it, battery compartments molded into the design, cooling lines routed seamlessly, and weight balanced for dual power setups. And of course, regulations are the big push behind it all. Europe's inland waterways and US national parks are already tightening emission rules. In parts of Austria and Germany, if you're not electric or hybrid, you're not launching. So while hybrid outboards might not sink the old guard overnight, they're steering the industry in a new direction. Quietly, efficiently, and with the kind of talk that'll make even die-hard gas lovers raise an eyebrow. Hybrid engines might be revolutionary, but they're still going on boats. That means there will be breakdowns, arguments over fuel gauges, and people forgetting to charge the batteries before a trip. And when something goes wrong, you'll still hear that timeless phrase, It ran fine yesterday. But here's the good part. Hybrids make boating feel new again. The first time you pull away in total silence, or glide back into port with zero vibration, you realize it's not just a gimmick. It's a glimpse of the future. Sure, there will be teething problems, and yes, you'll probably still curse at your battery indicator once in a while, but that's progress, the kind that changes entire industries, one skeptical boater at a time. So, can hybrid outboards really destroy the entire outboard industry? Not yet, but they're definitely sneaking up on it. Think of hybrids as the quiet kid in class who suddenly becomes the CEO. They're not here to blow up the system overnight, they're here to outlast it. The takeover won't start with weekend fishermen or budget pontoons. It'll begin with commercial fleets, ecotourism operators, and luxury yachts, where cost matters less than efficiency, and showing off that your boat runs on electrons earns you bragging rights at the marina bar. From there, the tech will trickle down, first to mid-sized cruisers, then fishing boats, and eventually to your neighbor's aging runabout that still smells like two-stroke nostalgia. And just like every major shift in technology, cars, phones, even trolling motors, it won't happen with fireworks. It'll happen quietly. Ironically, just like the engines themselves. One morning, you'll be out on the water, coffee in hand, thinking something feels off. No smoke. No roar. No angry seagulls fleeing from your exhaust. You'll look around and realize every boat gliding past is running on hybrid power. That's when it'll hit you. The revolution already happened, and you didn't even hear it. Of course, there'll still be that one old-timer at the dock swearing his 1987 Johnson runs better than anything new, and maybe it does, if you like rebuilding carburetors for fun. But sooner or later, even he'll admit it's hard to compete with instant torque, silent cruising, and the smug satisfaction of using zero fuel while passing the fuel dock. So no, hybrids won't destroy the outboard industry, they'll evolve it, one quiet, talk-filled trip at a time. Because the loudest thing about hybrid outboards might just be the sound of change. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the hybrid revolution, hit subscribe for more deep dives into the engines shaping our future, because the next time your outboard starts quietly, it might not be gas at all.